Southern Brave are the teams to beat this year. So, how is it playing for Brave and what's the atmosphere like? Yeah, no, it's been amazing. Um, the group have been incredible, obviously. And yeah, just enjoying it. Just having a, a really good time um, with all the girls and, and with Lottie as well. Yeah, so can Bray go, go one better this time? Hopefully, yeah. I mean, we, we've got to think about the next game, but we don't want to think too far in the future. Um, hopefully, we can get to the, the final um, after winning these next two games. Charlotte Edwards has been your coach at various times. How is it working with her? Yeah, she's been amazing. Um, always go to her for advice and and what I can do like with my strengths and my options and with my batting. Um, she's also a very you know, friendly person. She was very welcoming and um, she's always been there for me as well, um, even as a younger player. So um, I think just being able to work with her is, is very special and um, I will always go to her for advice. Cool. So, talking of young players, you have someone like Freya Kem who has been impressive during her domestic since or be it in the England internationals. So, how impressive uh, she has been? Yeah, she's been amazing. I mean, she's only 17. It's pretty imp- incredible that she kind of just turns up and, 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 I mean, getting all the wickets and hitting big sixes is, is all we ask of her. So, um, yeah, I mean, I can't really say a bad word about her. She's, she's she's a lovely girl as well. So it kind of just helps that she's she just strolls in and, and manages to hit the sixes that we need to get. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, going from the young players to the stars. Uh, Southern Brave has a lot of stars in Danny Wyatt, Sophia Dungley, Smriti Madana, Talia Magra, or even Amanda Jade Wellington. How is it working with all these stars? Yeah, they're amazing. I mean, I've been playing with Danny for a while now and and so with Dun- uh, Sophia Dunkley. Um, and, you know, they, they go out there and they, they do what they, they do best. And that's just hitting fours and hitting boundaries and, and showing what, you know, our group can do as, as a team. We go out and we are aggressive and, um, you know, having Wello, sorry, I imagine Amanda Jade Wellington um, is really good because we can experience... Um, we have a lot of fun together and we and we kind of get on really well, which is great. And um, I've known her for a long time. Um, and then obviously Smitty, she's just she just comes in and, and hits hits big big sixes and big fours for us. So um, it's always a pleasure to watch. She times it so perfectly that it's just it's perfect to watch. Um, but yeah, now having the having all the group is is really good. Yeah. Following up on that question, Smriti Madhana has been in spl- splendid form, as you said. So, how crucial she is to the group and how influential she has been? Yeah, she's been very influential. I, I you know, I loved speaking to her. She has a very good um, cricket brain and, you know, just to be able to pick her brain for advice and um, how to go out there and then, you know, to stick to your strengths is, is so important. So, um, yeah, I can't, I can't fault the fact that we have her in our team and and then she's back for the second year, which is is so is really good. And um, she likes to take us out for curry, so that's <laughs> that's also a good point. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So you are one of the beneficiaries of the new professional domestic system in England. So how much of it has an influence on your career? Um, yeah, no, it's great to have all the support from the PCA and um, and the Vipers. They they've been absolutely amazing. Um, just with facilities and, and having all the support staff um, there at your disposal is, is pretty amazing. Being able to travel and, and go to different places in the UK and, and, and play um, and play at some of the most you know prestigious grounds um, is pretty awesome. So um, I can't really ask for anything more. I'm, I'm in a very um, very good position. Yeah, you have also extensively played in New Zealand as well as Australia. So. How different is cricket in all these countries and how important it has been for your, the development of your game? Yeah, so I, I mean, I'm very lucky to be able to, to travel and, and play in these amazing countries and Australia, New Zealand. And I mean, even when I was younger, Sri Lanka, Dubai, I've just been able to go lots of places, which has been very incremental to my career. I've um, played a lot of boys cricket and being able to play a bit of boys cricket and then going to the women's game has definitely helped my development and um, awareness of the game and um, you know getting to go to the Ashes was something I'll, I'll never forget and even though it was during Covid we you know we might complain about Covid but um, it was a very um, surreal experience and um, special experience even you know even 
because of the loss. It doesn't doesn't matter. We, at least we were there, and I was there, and to experience it. So you had a disappointing campaign at the Commonwealth Games. So how disappointing was that finish, and uh, what did the team talk about it afterwards? Yeah, it was disappointing. Um, I mean, we uh, we came off a, a pretty um, big loss against India, and I think what our mindset was obviously not in the right right space. I think we all needed to get together a bit more and um, and talk about what we were going through. But um, you know, that's in the past now. We can't we can't dwell on it too much, and um, we're just looking forward to the India series coming up in September.